This is really great for when you're pulling and it helps your posture as well too. Hey everybody, I'm John Shoemate for liveanabolic.com. I'm here to help you guys over 50 and 60 years old get in the best shape you can possibly be in. How do I know? I'm 61 years old, I'm in the best shape of my life, and I have been a fitness instructor and a gym rat for most of my life. Today, I'm gonna to show you some really simple exercises for your upper body using only barbells. These are exercises that you can just do in your home with some fairly lightweight barbells. So let's get started. You can do these exercises only three times a week, and you only need to do two sets a piece. And they're broken down into two general sets of exercises. We're gonna do the arms, and these are called isolation exercises, where we're going to isolate just the bicep muscle and just the tricep muscle. And then the other two types of exercises we call compound exercises, where you're gonna use multiple muscles at the same time. But we're primarily gonna target the chest muscles, that being the pectorals, and we're gonna target the back muscles, the lats and the rhomboids and the other groups that go along with your back muscles. Okay, now the first thing you wanna do is warm up. It gets you loosened up, it opens up your blood vessels, gets your heart rate up. And there's just a couple simple things that you can do. You can do jumping jacks, I think everybody knows how to do those, or you can jog in place if you have a treadmill at home or if you have a cycle at home, you can do that. Just go for about 10 minutes. You just wanna go until you feel a light sweat, until you feel your heart rate start to come up, about 10 minutes is all. Okay, now secondly, let's do a posture check. We wanna make sure that our muscular skeletal system is always in alignment. So when you're doing exercises, especially if you're standing up, you wanna make sure that you're standing straight and tall, that you've got your shoulders back, you've got your chin up slightly and pulled slightly back. That's really important because we wanna help avoid any type of injury to the spinal column or anything else like that, even though this is gonna be a light exercise. Thirdly, I wanna show you how to do what's called the core squeeze or engaging your core. This is something really critical that helps protect your back whenever you're doing load-bearing exercises and it's really simple. You simply stand up as tall as you can possibly stand. You wanna suck in your belly button like you're trying to suck it all the way in to touch your spine and you want to squeeze your glutes at the same time. That makes everything rigid. That makes sure that the muscular system is supporting your weight, not the skeletal system, not your spine. So guys, let's start with the first exercise. This is an isolation exercise for the biceps. This is simply called the standing bicep curl. It's an isolation exercise because that's the only muscle that we're trying to work. So we just start with our barbell. Um, you can use whatever weight is comfortable for you to start out with. I'm using 20 pounds. The idea is you want to be able to get 12 reps in. If you can't get 12 reps, you want to lighten up that weight just a little bit. So for an isolation exercise, it's really important. First, we start with good posture. We do our core squeeze. And then we want to make sure that our elbow does not move forward or backwards, almost like it's pinned to your side. That way, when you come up, the only thing that's working is your bicep. So start with the dumbbell down by your side like this, slowly come up and rotate it in, all the way in, curl up and squeeze. I can tell you here right now, if you end up with the weight way up here by your chin, you've moved your elbow forward. You're working your shoulder. We don't wanna do that. We wanna isolate the bicep. So down, up and squeeze and then back down. Now we wanna do this on a count. Typically you wanna do something like four counts up and four counts down. So we count one, two, three, four and down. One, two, three, four, just like that. Guys doing good so far. Our second isolation exercise for the bicep is just called the seated bicep curl. I like this one a lot because it ensures that your elbow is not gonna move. It's really simple. You just find a place to sit down, have your legs a little wider than shoulder width apart, have your dumbbell just like this. I'm using 20 pounds. Uh, again, use a weight that's appropriate for you to get about 12 reps in about three sets. Now, we talked about the core squeeze before. You wanna do the core squeeze even though you're sitting down. You wanna have good posture even though you're sitting down. So you wanna make sure that your back is straight. 
have your elbow right against the inside of your knee like this. And we simply come up and curl it up like this, hold it, come back down and rotate it back around. You see how the elbow is locked into place because it's against my leg. It's really critical that you keep that leg still. Don't wanna see you using a boost with your leg like that to get the weight up. Again, the whole idea is that we isolate the bicep. We get the bicep to do 100% of the work. Okay guys, great job with the bicep. Now we're gonna move on to tricep isolation. This is also one of my favorites. I call this the tricep, tricep kickback. Again, we're gonna use um, dumbbells to isolate our tricep on the back of our arm. Now, you can either do this standing up like this. I prefer to use a bench. It just helps you hold more still. Again, the idea is that we want to isolate the tricep. So take your dumbbell in your hand. I've got 15 pounds here, pretty light. Use whatever is good for you to get three sets of 12 reps, okay? Again, the important thing is that our elbow stays still. And it really doesn't matter that much if your elbow starts right up here or if you start at a little bit more of an angle down like this. Sometimes you may, if this is a new exercise to you and you haven't done it before. So I'll show you how you do it from the lower position like this. So you simply uh, check your posture, make sure you're doing your core squeeze, make sure that your back is straight. I like to keep my head down so that my neck and my vertebrae are straight. And we're just gonna go straight back like this and lock out on the tricep and we're gonna come forward. Now I want you to watch the elbow. Watch how the elbow doesn't move. If you wanna advance a little bit more, you can raise the elbow up, extend out like that, and come back down. And again, you're gonna do 12 reps, and you're gonna do three sets of these. See guys, isn't this easy? And now we're gonna do our second isolation exercise on the tricep. This is what we call standing overhead tricep extension and it's really simple. Now, you wanna make sure you don't have any shoulder issues before you try this. If you're feeling pain in your shoulder, any impingement, don't do this, stop right away. But this is a great one to do at home. So again, first we check our posture, we do our core squeeze, and what you're gonna do, and I'll show you with the dumbbell in a second, but you're gonna hold your arm straight up like this with the dumbbell. The key is that the elbow doesn't move. It's an isolation exercise. And we're gonna come down, and we're gonna come up, and we're gonna squeeze. So I'm going with 15 pounds here. Again, you do what's best for you to be able to do 12 reps and three sets and make it a challenge for yourself, okay? So we're gonna start up like this and we're gonna come down and then we're gonna go straight up and we're gonna extend all the way and we're gonna squeeze the tricep at the top. Down, back up and squeeze. Down, back up and squeeze. And we're gonna do that 12 reps going to do three sets. Great job guys. So we're already done with the arms with the isolation exercises. Now we're ready to go on to the compound exercises. We're going to start with chest next. Chest is great, a compound exercise in that it works the main pectorals, your chest muscles, and it also works the front deltoids, your shoulder muscles in three parts, the rear deltoid, the medial deltoid, and the front deltoid. So these muscles work together in a compound way to push us through the exercise. We're doing this with dumbbells. I'm doing this on a bench. I like a bench because you can get a little bit lower and a little broader extension through the musculature. But if you don't have a bench and you wanna just do this on your floor, you can do that as well. Okay, so to get started, I'm going with 30 pounds. Again, go with weights that are comfortable for you to do 12 reps and three sets. So you start in the down position like this. If you're gonna be on a bench, make sure both feet are flat on the floor, that you're not arching your back. And again, you wanna go ahead and squeeze your core even though you're down on the bench. And it's really simple. You simply press up all the way and turn them in and touch the barbells to each other. Lock your arms out and then come down slowly. Actually pull them back down into this neutral position and then push all the way back up and touch them together. Squeeze your triceps at the top and down and up and squeeze. And again, you wanna choose a weight that's right for you to do 12 reps and three sets. So great job guys. Next up, we're gonna do barbell flies. This is also a compound exercise for the chest where we're gonna be taking the dumbbells 
and pulling down and opening our chest muscles way up. It's a great exercise because it stretches you out, gives you a broader range of motion. It's also good for the shoulders, it kind of stretches that shoulder capsule out a little bit. Now, the press we did previously as a compound move worked our triceps a little bit along with the front delts and the pecs. This is gonna be just for the pecs and the front delts. Our elbows are going to be a little bit more static. Now, depending on what's comfortable for you, you can have your elbows and your hands a little bit closer in, or if you want a little bit heavier load, you can go out wider because that weight is gonna be heavier to move the more outside your body that you get. So I like to start this one in the up position, similar to the way we finished off the chest press before. Check your posture, make sure that your feet are flat on the floor, make sure that your back is not arched and that you're doing your core squeeze. And then we're simply gonna come out and we're gonna come down slightly and we're gonna go down as far as comfortable. Try and chest, stretch those chest muscles out a little bit. And then we're gonna take the chest muscles and contract them and we're gonna squeeze it back up to the top and stop at the top. And back down again, squeeze the chest muscles together and stop right here. Again, if you want to modify, you can start by coming down a little bit closer in like this and then back up. And then as you want to advance, you can keep the elbows straight. You can actually come straight out like that and back in. Again, pick the right weight for you to do 12 reps and three sets. All right, guys, great job with the chest. Now we're gonna go on to back exercises. Now we're gonna do a couple of compound moves. The first thing we're gonna do are simply called rows. The rows are great because they work what we call the latissimus dorsi or also called the lat sometimes. This is what gives you a broad looking back. It's also great functionally for a lot of things that you do in regards to pulling just in everyday life. So guys, for this exercise, you're gonna want a bench. Uh, I like to just put one hand down and pull up with the other hand. And it's really simple, let me show you. So we're gonna get down like this and put one hand down. We wanna make sure that our back is straight and that we're doing our core squeeze. Now this is really important. When we pull up, we wanna try and minimize rocking our shoulders like this. We wanna try and keep a straight line across like this so that we're just coming up and going down. Now, I like to have my head down like this so I keep my neck straight and don't cause any potential damage to the spinal cord area. So I'm gonna grab the dumbbell. I'm using 30 pounds right now. Use what's comfortable for you to get your 12 reps and your three sets. And it's really simple. We're just gonna pull up like this all the way and lock underneath our armpit and we're gonna press it back down. And we're gonna come up and back down. Notice how my shoulders and my back are staying flat and I'm not rocking from side to side. You should feel it in your lats along your side of your back and down and up and squeeze and down. And again, 12 reps, three sets. Awesome, okay, we're down to our last exercise. This is gonna be the last compound exercise for our back. Now, this is called standing rows with your elbows out. On the last back exercise, we targeted the lats. This time we're gonna target more the middle of your back and the rhomboids and the trapezius. This is really great for when you're pulling and it helps your posture as well too. So many men our age tend to start to get slumped forward. We wanna get those shoulders back and this is a great way to do it. So guys, for this exercise, simply take your dumbbell in each hand. Now I'm using 20 pounds, use the right weight for you. Posture is critical. You want your feet about shoulder width apart. You wanna bend slightly at the waist like this, and you wanna make sure that your back is straight and you're doing your core squeeze. You're gonna have your head down. You want your entire spinal column to be straight. And I'm simply gonna take the weights with my elbows out. I'm gonna pull up and then come down. Now the key is you wanna feel like you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. You actually wanna feel like you're trying to touch your shoulder blades together and press down slowly and come up and squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold them and push them down. As always, 12 reps and three sets for these. Guys, great job. So there's a quick, concise way to get an upper body workout in your own home using only dumbbells. So if you like this video, click the thumbs up button, 
Subscribe so you don't miss any more great videos on how to get in shape for guys over in 50, 60 years old. Appreciate it very much. And remember, obstacles are what you see when you lose sight of the goal. Go and get after it. Bye now.